It fights aphids, spider mites, and other pests. Spraying it is the secret to healthy tomatoes. It forms a layer on the plant's surface that makes it difficult for insects to breathe and move, leading to their elimination. I know how to prepare and use this natural remedy. All you need is some natural soap. It's eco-friendly and inexpensive. Preparing the spray takes just a moment. You'll need a liter of water and 20 grams of natural soap. Dissolve the soap in warm water, then pour it into a spray bottle. The solution won't harm your plants, but it will kill the pests. Apply it to the tomato leaves, both on top and underneath. Remember to do this early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Use it regularly every eight days. This will keep your tomatoes in great condition. This method is popular among gardeners who value natural solutions. It's eco-friendly, safe, and effectively protects against pests. Add a tablespoon to each hole before planting tomatoes. Thanks to this, the tomatoes will be healthy and strong, and the fruits will be large and tasty like never before. Even the weakest tomato seedlings will thrive. Just one tablespoon of this powder is enough. This fertilizer poured into the hole for tomatoes will provide them with the necessary nutrients for growth. How to make it? Start by collecting eggshells. When you cook eggs or make scrambled eggs, save the eggshells. Leave the washed and clean ones to dry. Sometimes I crush them into smaller pieces earlier. It's easier to store them that way. They are perfect for tomatoes. Simply grind them into a fine powder. You can do this using a blender, but you can also use a coffee grinder. This powdery substance contains many minerals. Eggshells are primarily a source of calcium. Calcium is needed by tomatoes to fruit healthily. When planting tomatoes in the field, add a tablespoon of ground eggshells to each hole. One tablespoon per hole. You'll protect the tomatoes from diseases resulting from a lack of calcium or other minerals. An example is tomato fruit rot. Just a bit of eggshells, and you'll avoid such problems. From this, you will make the strongest natural remedy for tomatoes. It will ensure your tomatoes are healthy and beautiful. Diseases will disappear immediately. If you want lush and juicy tomatoes, be sure to stay with me. We start by preparing our ingredients. Pour 100 milliliters of warm water and 100 milliliters of milk into a jug. Then add one tablespoon of baking soda and one tablespoon of garlic. This combination will help fight fungi and pests. The next step is to add half a teaspoon of turmeric and a pinch of ground cloves and cinnamon. These spices have antibacterial properties and boost the plant's immunity. To make the mixture even more effective, add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Finally, add a pinch of dried nettle, which acts as a natural fertilizer. Mix all the ingredients thoroughly, then strain the mixture through a sieve to remove larger pieces. Dilute the ready liquid with water. Now you can regularly spray your tomatoes every 10 days to protect them from diseases and pests. Remember to do this early in the morning or late in the afternoon to avoid burning the leaves from the sun. Try this natural mixture and see how your tomatoes grow healthy and strong. Thanks to bananas, my tomatoes ripen quickly and taste delicious. Just one banana is enough to enjoy beautiful tomatoes. This trick is surprisingly simple. Bananas contain many valuable nutrients and are used to make fertilizers and plant food for flowers and vegetables. But today, I'll show you another way to use bananas. Prepare a regular plastic bag. Place one banana inside the bag. Tie the bag directly onto a cluster of green tomatoes, being careful not to damage the tomatoes. After a few days, you'll see a difference. Tomatoes in plastic bags with bananas will ripen faster. Bananas release ethylene, which accelerates the ripening process of tomatoes. In just a few days, the tomatoes will start to turn red. Once this happens, they will ripen even faster. You can also use this trick at the end of the season when tomatoes ripen more slowly due to the lack of warmth and sunlight. The plastic bag with a banana will speed up their ripening. Tomatoes, cucumbers, and even peppers won't get sick if you spray them with this solution. Sudden temperature changes don't have a good effect on vegetables grown in the garden, as they can lead to various fungal diseases. 
therefore, it's important to regularly protect tomatoes and cucumbers. Milk helps combat many pathogens and fungi, and some pests cannot digest lactose. This means that milk also helps protect crops from insects that can damage your yield. To prepare a preventive spray, use a glass of milk for about 2 liters of water. If you want to prepare more of the mixture, pour a whole liter of milk into 9 liters of water. If the tomatoes or cucumbers are already diseased, use a higher concentration. Use a sprayer to apply the mixture to tomatoes, cucumbers, and even peppers or potatoes. Milk leaves a protective layer on the plants, preventing various pathogens from penetrating. This spray should be applied regularly, several times during the season. Remember, the best milk for spraying is raw milk, which also has additional nutritional benefits for the plants. Take an ordinary plastic bag to the garden and place it over your tomatoes. Tie the bag directly onto the tomato cluster. After a few days, you'll see a difference. If you grow tomatoes, this plastic bag trick can be easily used, and even twice, if you, like any gardener, dream of beautiful, healthy tomatoes. Prepare some regular plastic bags. Gently place a plastic bag over a selected cluster of tomatoes, being careful not to damage them. Tie the plastic bag around the tomato stem. Do this with several other tomato branches as well. Try this trick on a few branches. Leave the bags and watch what happens. The tomatoes inside the plastic bags will ripen faster. The bags accelerate the ripening process. Within a few days, the tomatoes will turn red. You'll be able to pick your tomatoes sooner than you think. You can also use this trick at the end of the season, when tomatoes ripen more slowly due to the lack of warmth and sunlight. The plastic bags will help speed up their ripening. The shape of a cucumber can tell you what it's missing. Homegrown cucumbers have an unmatched flavor and aroma. However, sometimes they take on strange shapes, and there could be several reasons for this. Let's explore the most common ones. I'll show you using four cucumbers that have different shapes. The first one resembles a pear more than a cucumber. This indicates a potassium deficiency. The next cucumber, in terms of its size and shape, suggests that it was watered incorrectly during its growth, specifically with water that was too cold. The weather also played a role in its appearance with high temperatures during the day and low temperatures at night negatively impacting the cucumber. The third cucumber also has an irregular shape with a tapered end, which points to a significant nitrogen deficiency. Meanwhile, the fourth and fifth cucumbers share the same shape. They're curled up, taking on a hooked form like a croissant or banana. This is due to a lack of water, meaning they were watered too infrequently. As you can see, proper watering is crucial for each cucumber. If you primarily eat your vegetables raw, the shape may not matter much. However, if you plan on making preserves, the shape becomes more important, so it's worth taking care of them.